shotguns. We either love them or we hate them. The most unbound class in Phantom Forces, besides SMGs. And today I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best. As I always say, it's my opinion, and I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. It would really help with the algorithm. Please comment. That will also help with the algorithm. And yeah, let's get into the vid. <laughs> For the worst shotgun in the game, it has to be the A12. It's a rank 112 gun, has 8 pellets. It does 26 to about 50 studs, and then it goes down to 11 out of 100. It's automatic shotgun, 300 fire rate, has an average magazine size of 8. It takes 4 pellets to kill in CQC. I would recommend an AMT Terminator, a muzzle booster, a vertical grip, a blue laser, and a 20 round drum. Alright, so at number 10 we have the Stevens DB. The only reason it is low is because the DT-11 is pretty much the same thing. It's just better in every way. Um, it's a rank 81 gun, has 8 pellets. It does 36 damage up to 75 studs, and then it goes down to 12.75 damage at 165 studs. It has an instant burst and it's semi-automatic. has a 200 fire rate, has two bullets in the mag, and it takes three out of the eight pellets to kill in CQC. I recommend the default optic, a muzzle brake, a vertical grip, green laser, and default ammo. At uh, number 9, we have the KS-23M. Hey, listen, I know this is a great gun and all, but I just feel like every other shotgun is better above this. It's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Anyways, it's a rank 56 gun, and it has 8 pellets. It does 37 damage up to 60 studs, and then it goes down to 16 damage at 150 studs. It's a semi-automatic gun. It's more like a pump shotgun type. It has a fire rate of 65, has 3 in the mag, plus 1, and you have to hit 3 out of the 8 pellets to kill in CQC. I would recommend a reflex sight, a sporting barrel, a vertical grip, and a blue laser. Number 8, we got the KSG-12. It is the first shotgun you get in the game. It's a rank 1 gun. You get 8 pellets, and you get to do 32 damage up to 50 studs, and then it goes down to 12 damage at 100 studs. It's a semi-auto gun. It has 150 fire rate. has a 14 mag size, and it requires 4 out of the 8 pellets to kill CQC. I would recommend an OEG sight, a suppressor, a sideways grip for the alt aim, and a tri-laser and flechette. All right, number seven, we have the E-Gun. This isn't really a shotgun. It's more like a burst AR or something. But anyways, it's rank A7. It has one pellet because it's like an AR. It does 21 damage up to 60 studs and eight damage when you reach 100. It has a fire round burst mode. It's automatic and semi. It does 2,500 at burst and 850 on auto and semi. It's 25 magazine size. And it takes five out of the five pellets to kill CQC. I'd recommend a micro dot SRS, the default barrel. It doesn't even have a barrel. A sideways grip for the ultimate same crowd control setup and heavy discs. Alright, number 6 we have the DBV-12. It's a rank 24 gun, it's got 8 pellets, it does 30 damage up to 50 studs, and then it has a minimum damage of 11 at 150 studs. It's a semi-automatic gun, it has 250 fire rate, has a 10 magazine size, you can hit 4 out of your 8 pellets to one shot in CQC. I'd recommend a coyote sight, a suppressor, a blue laser, or a track stock and default ammo.
Alright, at 5th spot we have the Spaz 12. It's a rank 120 gun, which is a little bit high for the category. It has 8 pellets, just like a lot of the shotguns in this category. It has a max damage of 33 up to 48 studs. It has a minimum damage 13 at 125 studs. It's a semi-automatic gun. You can also make it a, a pump shotgun type gun with a conversion. It has a 200 fire rate. It has an 8 magazine size, and you have to, you have to hit 4 out of your 8 pellets to kill in secrecy. I'd recommend an extended stock, a suppressor, a Romanian grip, a green laser, and flechette. At number 4 we got the DT-11. This is pretty much the Stevens but just better in every single way besides damage. Uh, it's a rank 133 gun which is one of the highest in the category. It has 12 pellets compared to 8 like a lot of the other guns. It does 19 damage per pellet up to 45 studs and then it goes down to 7 damage at 170. It's a semi-automatic gun. It has a 350 fire rate which is pretty good. It has 2 in the mag and you have to hit 6 out of the 12 pellets to kill in CQC. I'd recommend uh, the default optic combat barrel a vertical grip and a blue laser. Number 3 we got the USS-12 aka the highest ranked shotgun in the game. This thing is an absolute demon up close. It has 8 pellets, it does 20 damage per pellet up to 35 studs and it goes down to 12 at 110 studs. Automatic shotgun, it has a 450 fire rate, it has a 10 magazine size and you have to hit 5 out of the 8 pellets to kill in CQC. I would recommend an AMT terminator, a muzzle booster, a stubby grip and a blue laser. Alright, the number 2 spot we have the Remington 870 or the Model 870, they're the same thing. Anyways, it's a rank 11 gun, has 8 pellets per shot, has maximum damage of 34 up to 50 studs, and goes down to 13 130. It's a semi-automatic gun, it's also a pump shotgun, has a 100 fire rate, has a 6 magazine size, and you have to hit 3 out of the 8 pellets to kill CQC. I'd recommend a Delta Sight, a Muzzle Break, a Romanian Grip, a Blue Laser, and Default Ammo. Yeah, number one is of course the Saiga 12. This thing is a rank 63 gun, has 8 pellets, it does 27 damage up to 45 studs and it goes down to 13 at 130 studs. It's a semi-automatic gun, 350 fire rate, 8 magazine size and it takes 4 out of the 8 pellets to kill. The reason why this is the best is because it just shoots so quick and it's so good. Anyways, I'd recommend an AMT Terminator, a shortened barrel, a sideways grip, a blue laser and birdshot. Alright, it's now the end of the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing the snipers next instead of the SMGs because I may or may not be doing a collab with Snowy. I'm sure you know who he is. Big YouTuber. Please subscribe to him. Let's get him to 100k. And I appreciate you guys for watching. See you on the next video.